Hello, hello, and welcome once again, J76NY here, and welcome back to our historic single battles series on Grand Tactician the Civil War. Uh, we are playing as the Union, and we are up to the Battle of Alusti in Alusti Station or Ocean Pond, Florida, February 20th, 1864. Uh, before we get started, a quick channel note, uh, I'm getting ready to start a our first classic game series, and... I had three games in mind, was having a really hard time uh, deciding which games I wanted to go with. Uh, so I put up a poll. Uh, it is pretty close between uh, two of the three games. Uh, if you haven't voted yet, head on over to the community tab and cast your vote. The three games are uh, Rome Total War, Ultimate General, Civil War, and I am blanking. Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. Uh, so far, Rome and Battlestar Galactica are, are in the lead, pretty much running neck and neck. So go ahead and uh, cast your vote, and whichever one wins the poll will be our first classic game. So now, on to the Civil War in Grand Tactician. Uh, the Battle of Alusti was uh, part of a campaign that was more political than military. Um, the Lincoln administration had passed the... Uh, amnesty and Reconstruction Proclamation, uh, which basically said that it was an available option to the Confederate citizens if, I believe, uh, one-tenth or ten percent of the population wanted to come back into the Union. They could sign an oath of allegiance and all that, and uh, there would be no consequences. The, wasn't exactly the most popular thing the Lincoln administration did. A lot of northern politicians, um, notably Senator Charles Sumner, were not at all happy about this because they were of the mindset that the states in rebellion and their citizens should be punished severely for this. Um, but Lincoln went ahead with it anyway. And uh, with the election coming up, uh, Florida back in the Union on the side of probably the Lincoln administration would be very helpful. Uh, so he sent John Hay, his personal secretary, down, gave him the rank of major, and he accompanied uh, Finnegan, I think his name is, actually Truman Seymour, Finnegan's over here. Um, but he accompanied his force into Florida in an attempt to... Um, sway the citizens of Florida, as well as uh, recruit some black uh, uh, troops for the Union cause, though I guess it wasn't entirely a non-military operation. Uh, the Union went into battle with 5,500 men. Uh, they faced a Confederate force under Joseph Finnegan, Holquitt, and George P. Harrison. The mission failed miserably, and the Union was pushed back into uh, the Jacksonville or um, Georgia area. Uh, they didn't get Florida, but Tom, Truman Seymour, William Barton, Joseph Hawley, James Montgomery, and Guy Henry didn't get any fame for this. So we are going to be fighting it today and see if we can do better than they did. So sit back and enjoy the Battle of Alusti. Telegraph from Jacksonville, Florida to the District of Florida. Brigadier General Commanding heartily congratulates his command on the brilliant success which has attended all their movements thus far into Florida. Three flags, eight guns, proper 
property valued at over 1.5 million is the fruit of their success. These deeds will be among those remembered by us with the greatest pleasure and honor by order of Brigadier General E. Seymour. The advance continues to Lake City along the railroad line. From there, the objective is Tallahassee, capital of the state of Florida. Colonel Henry's cavalry has been in the vanguard, brushing aside any enemy skirmishers covering the main force that is marching in three columns. East of a lusty station, Henry has met what seems to be a picket line. 7th Connecticut is to move forward and to defeat the militia blocking the road. It was not militia, actually. If strong resistance is met, Hawley's brigade marching in the first column will deploy and engage the enemy supported by artillery marching behind them. Okay, Let's see what we got here. Swamps, we got swamps. We got lots of swamps. We got a dug-in enemy in the swamps. And everyone we're going to have. So, let's see what we have here. Really only one way to go right at them. Sucks. They've got a line out in front. Uh, my guess is if they are going to, uh, we're fighting on a brigade level here, yeah. Right, so we basically have to go right at them up a hill. <clears throat> not sure how well that's going to work out for us. We may not do any better than they did. All right. So out in front, we've got the 7th Connecticut with 300. Followed by the 7th New Hampshire, uh, 8th U.S. Colored Troops, Let's see if they're actually black. Uh, hard to tell. They're facing the wrong way, though. So is everyone else. All right, here's our artillery. Uh, we've got the 40th Massachusetts with 400 uh, horse and the Independent Massachusetts Brigade with 200. So we got 600 cavalry. Here's our artillery back here. <coughs> then way in the back, we've got Barton's Brigade of 1,700 and Montgomery's Brigade of 1,150. All right, so Holly, let's get this started. One o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Holly, have you come up over here? Try and send my cab up around this little swamp up here. See what happens. Uh, I don't want them to go through the swamp, though, so I guess I'm going to have to move them like that. Uh, we got our artillery. Looks like they're coming forward to meet us. Let's set our artillery up right here for now. And we'll get these guys moving too. Put you right on the road. Uh, we'll get you up over by the artillery. All right, they're holding in their position here. There's like... Oh, that is one hell of a defensive position. We got this funnel we have to go through unless we come around this way. A 
up the road, but I think they'd probably move to meet us. They've got Cav out here in their rear. Uh, the only advantage I see of trying to come up this way would be to get them out of their fortifications, and then we can come this way. Um, they have four guns. They are coming out to meet us, so... 2,200 men. Got Spencer carbines. That's not bad, I guess. Uh, the rest of our forces are coming up. Cavs heading off into the woods. And I will be back when we uh, meet the enemy in battle. All right, they're coming at our weakest uh, brigade here, our smallest brigade. Uh, we got the 19th Georgia moving up. 6th Georgia, 6th Florida, 27th Georgia. Uh, these guys are moving into position over here. Let's just have you start shooting. I did uh, turn my cab around. Cavs moving into position, their artillery is having a seizure apparently. Brigade's already broke. Right, the artillery is starting to waver a little bit. Okay, we broke them over there. And then our cab broke. We're still trying to create an effective charge over here. Let's see if we can rally. Rally. They don't appear to want to charge. Get our few guns up over here. Uh, <laughs> and these guys are breaking left and right. God, there's, there's their cab just came up too. That shit. This may be a pretty quick battle, guys. They come out of their entrenchments yet? They're starting to. <clears throat> These guys need to really start moving. These guys are stuck in the swamp. This is not going good for us. Right. 
cab broke over there as well, so... But we did take some guns with us, or we did, uh, eliminate those guns. Meanwhile, all of ours are about to go to shit. Uh, fall back a little bit here. Casualties are about even. Oh, we gotta change the orders. I'm gonna have you go there. Cats charging our cat our here. Shoot him. Shoot him. I'm gonna lose that battery for sure. Hamilton received severe wounds. That would be, uh, him. We're sending up another brigade of cavalry here. Our losses are starting to mount in our one, uh, the uh, regiment that's holding firm. If you fall back, uh, I want you to fall back. There we go, fall back. Hit them. Canister right to the face. We're losing. Ah! Going crazy. Alright. These guys. I'm just gonna give the order to attack. To get them, maybe get them up there sooner. I don't think they're gonna get there in time, but. We just got <laughs> thoroughly. Demolished. Rally. Those these, uh, broken.
swamp's making it hard to move. I think they might stay on the roads, but... What do I know? They're definitely coming right at us here. Still falling back. Reflecting casualties as they go, just not very fast. We've got three uh, regiments that are about to break. Three regiments firing into them, plus artillery. Blasting them with canister. They're the only one that's holding out. We got a perk. Pull up by firing canister. I didn't even know that was a thing in the uh, historic battles. Whipped. I think that's what it's called. Whipped like you would not believe. go. That was quick. Okay, well, not going to stop. Not going to stop. Go get them. Go get them, boys. I know you can't really turn it around or anything, but... Might as well try and fight it out here. These guys are almost broken, so it'd be funny if we flipped it. not be reincorporating the state of Florida into the Union anytime soon here. Especially seeing their whole force is now coming at us. Wow, half their force, yeah. These guys back here are actually smart. They see the writing on the wall. They know they're not going to get up there in six minutes. Uh-oh. Hey, we broke them.
Oops, I actually accidentally sent out some, uh... Go back, don't worry about the guns, guys. Two minutes. Speed it up a little bit, I guess. Speed it up a little more. There we go. We lost every single one of our guns. Uh, 945 total casualties out of 5,452. We actually lost less than they did uh, historically. And I think we inflicted more uh, more casualties on them. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. I wasn't expecting to get hammered that fast, but it is what it is. Uh, I am done with all the battles that are in book number two of Delby Foot's trilogy. That's how I'm doing the series, in case you're unaware, uh, as I read about them in his... Uh, books, I play them here on the game and post them for you guys to watch. I do not have book number three yet. I've got a specific um, cover I'm trying to stick to. Uh, so once I get book number three, um, I'll add that to my stack of books sitting right there that I'm going to be reading. Uh, I'm going to go into some World War II reading uh before I jump back into the Civil War. Uh, so once I get book three and start reading it, we will uh, move on to the Wilderness Campaign. I mean the Wilderness, Battle of the Wilderness. Grant and Lee are gonna face off. It's going to be a fairly large battle, 105,000 for the Union and 65,000 for the Confederates. Um, and then New Market, which is uh, a smaller battle, but still fairly significant, I guess. Uh, Bentonville in North Carolina with uh, Sherman and Joseph Johnson. And then the uh, grand finale, Appomattox. Anyway, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. If you want to follow along uh, with us as we fight the battles... Uh, it might be a little bit before I get to the uh, next battle, so if you don't want to miss it, hit the subscribe, turn the bell on. Don't forget to go vote in the poll for our first classic series. And uh, we'll see you when we get to uh, Wilderness for the Grant versus Lee extravaganza. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.